What is up guys and welcome back. Right, we are going to get all the data pads and one very sneaky chest for Gun Barrel. Now I'm doing this because the first time you come here you most likely will not have your little doohickey and you will not know where they are. So, when I started my game on Nightmare, I would love to have gotten them all in one go, so I thought fuck it, let's make a guide. First one is going to be right there. And because of doing this, collecting all the data pads straight away, I unlocked my Icarus very, very quickly. Which is so damn cool because I love scouting in that. It's so much quicker than the car. Okay, next one is first shop on the left right there. Now there's no like, this is how many you've collected type thing in the corner. It's just collection until your doohickey stops giving you directions. There's another one right there. And this chest I was speaking of uh, is so tricky. Uh, I was running around this area for ages trying to find this damn thing. Eventually I did, but there was another data pad right there. Just so you know, this is following the mission uh, Blackout. So it's the first time you come to Gun Barrel, we have to go meet the Marshal and do the mission downstairs in the sewers. And then upon exiting that kind of mission, you can collect some as well. But at the moment, I've edited them all together. So you can just collect them in one go from here. Hey there. There's another data pad right there. So again, from that location, we're going to swing around quickly. And there's going to be one in just inside the door. This is when the lighting started messing with me big time. Like I walk inside and it went pitch black. And then take a step back and it went completely light and then dark. It was very weird. Like here, I'd take a step back and it would go bright, bright light. And then take a step forward and we'll go pitch black again. The lighting's so screwed. Okay, we're going to be inside the club. And there's going to be one right over here. Nice and glowy for us. Right, so when you get to the marshal's area, there's going to be a data pad sitting right there. I collected it accidentally. But there's another one just around the corner here as well. And the next one is going to be up the stairs. And then we're going to be back at the pub again, or the club. Try to avoid getting killed, okay? There it is right there. Right, so we're inside the club. Then we're going to go right to the outside. And this is where the sneaky chest is. We're going to call our Icarus. And we're going to see where this bastard is. Put me a lot of troubles. And now I know just to use the Icarus straight away. And there's also a cool little trick you can do. I'll show you after collecting this chest with the Icarus. About uh, coming into town. And there he is right there. The sneaky little puff adder. Every time I came into the town on the Icarus, I would land and then walk inside the town. But you don't actually have to do that. As you will see in a second here, if you're flying the Icarus, you just head straight into the town and it'll kind of land you itself. It'll just even the position where you are, it'll put you in a close position to where you came into the city. And voila, right there. Alright guys, that's going to bring us to the end. I hope you're able to grab all these data pads and get that uh, scientist projects going and grab the Icarus as soon as possible. So guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching and I'm going to catch you on the next one.